F-16 aircraft will start arriving in Ukraine this year with trained pilots, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said during the meeting of the Ramstein Group on Friday. The April 26 meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group held in Ramstein format today discusses the adjustment of the supply of military aid to Ukraine. Dmitro Lazutkin, the spokesman for the Ukrainian Defense Ministry said earlier that the meeting would primarily be about the supply of weapons, projectiles of various calibers, primarily 155 mm, it is also about the fact that Adigm's ammunition will be supplied to Ukraine, he said. Preparing for today's Ramstein meeting, we'll discuss, among other things, how to swiftly overcome the difficulties and problems that have accumulated over the past six months while we awaited a decision on American support, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said during his evening address on April 25. He also expressed gratitude to all countries that have made decisions to support Ukraine, as well as to Ukrainian defenders, cities, and communities. The political decision has already been made, now, what's needed are the contents of the packages with the necessary weaponry and logistics," Zelensky noted. The previous Ramstein format meeting discussed the supply of ammunition, air defense systems, and F-16 training for Ukrainian pilots. Ukraine's intelligence helped in detaining Deputy Minister of Defense of Russia. Deputy Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Timur Ivanov, was detained on suspicion of corruption. This was the result of actions taken by the main directorate of intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, according to a source within the special services. RBC Ukraine reports this. According to a source, in March 2024, the Active Measures Division of the Main Directorate of Intelligence conducted a cyber attack resulting in gaining access to confidential information and official documents belonging to Ivanov. Once this story became known within broader Russian circles, an investigation against Ivanov was initiated. The Russian official is suspected of corruption. Ivanov is of course corrupt like everyone there, but this incident played against him precisely because the leakage of sensitive and confidential information occurred, a source told RBC Ukraine. The source clarified that there was no voluntary cooperation from Ivanov with the Ukrainian intelligence. On April the 23rd, law enforcement in Russia detained the Deputy Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Timur Ivanov, alleging that he could have accepted an especially large bribe. On April the 24th, the Basmani court of Moscow ordered Ivanov's detention. Meanwhile, the Russian media, important stories citing its own sources, states that the main reason for Ivanov's detention is not corruption but rather state treason publicly accusing Deputy Minister of Defense Sergei Shoigu of treason allegedly isn't being pursued at the moment. The source did not provide further details. The 48-year-old Deputy Defense Minister oversaw military construction and repairs and is accused of taking part in a criminal conspiracy in managing contracts that greatly benefited him personally, reportedly contributing to a lavish lifestyle. In 2022, the Anti-Corruption Foundation, which is run by the allies of late Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, released the findings of an investigation that found Ivanov and his family had funneled off millions of dollars to buy property and yachts. Finland and Sweden should prepare for war. Finnish President Finnish President Alexander Stubb called on his country and neighboring Sweden to prepare for war. In his opinion, these countries can play an important role in strengthening peace in the region. In an interview with the Finnish press, Stubb noted that the military rhetoric of Western countries is becoming more and more aggressive, but Finland and Sweden can help soften the warlike rhetoric. However, at the same time, according to the Finnish president, the best way to avoid war is not to talk about it, but to prepare for a possible armed conflict. Stubb also added that this state of affairs could deprive the younger generation of a sense of security and faith in the future. Finland, the 31st member of NATO, shares a 1,340-kilometer border with Russia, which extends through dense forests in the south and harsh Arctic terrain in the north. Stubb, during a visit to Sweden, discussed the implications of Finland's NATO membership at a joint news conference in Stockholm with Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson. Both nations had long embraced neutrality, avoiding military alliances, but shifted their policies after Russia invaded Ukraine in early 2022. The best way to avoid war is to talk less and prepare more, 
Stubb said during the conference. He also noted that although the focus on military readiness is critical, the increasing prevalence of war-related news on screens can affect younger generations' sense of security. It is also reported that the official representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, emphasized that the NATO exercises planned for the near future in Finland, in close proximity to the Russian border, are openly provocative in nature. Zakharova pointed out that to justify their aggressive aspirations, representatives of the alliance are purposefully whipping up hysteria around the supposedly existing Russian threat, including continuously spreading insinuations about some Russian plans to attack NATO member countries. By conducting maneuvers close to the border with Russia, NATO increases the risk of possible military incidents. However, at the same time, Moscow closely monitors all aggressive actions of the collective West.